Sam, what's a few things as an offense you guys are kind of keying in on going into the Clemson game? Because obviously, I mean, the best team in the country right now, but what are some of the main things you guys are kind of focusing on? Uh, just working on executing on every single play. Uh, just going back through and just trying to be perfect on every single play that we run. You threw your first interceptions of the season the other day. When you went back on film and watched it, what did you see that maybe you could have done different? And, and how much of a learning process is it seeing that kind of stuff on film? Yeah, so I kind of forced the screen. I thought I could get the ball over the D lineman. Uh, he made a he made a good play on it. Um, and the second one, I tried to throw like a post route, and the backside linebacker ended up coming and figuring it off. Uh, just two plays I'm gonna learn from. Are you the kind of guy that dwells on something like that? You watch it over and over and over. Or you watch it a couple times. It's enough, and you move on. Yeah, I mean, once I once I learn from the mistake, I I move on from it. On the drive at the end of the second quarter and then the whole fourth quarter, what are the kind of common things that you guys do well in those drives versus the other ones where you don't move as well? Uh, you know, I just feel like it's the urgency we have on those drives. Uh, we know it's obviously every single drive is important, but when it comes to the drives, you know, it's a must score drive. Like scoring, scoring at the end of the second quarter was a must score for us. We need to get that momentum back going in halftime. Why do you think that that urgency then maybe is lacking a little bit, especially the second quarter of games overall? Then a problem for you guys. Yeah, we definitely need, need to do a better job of just, just uh, playing hard the whole entire game uh, and just executing the throughout the whole game. I mean, we've, we've had some really bad quarters offensively, so we can clean that up. Sam, how much are you looking forward to the opportunity of going up against you know, a quarterback like Trevor Lawrence or whatnot who has all the hype that he has, probably going to be a number one overall pick? Um, your opportunity to kind of shine in that position as well. Are, are you thinking about that at all going into this game? Yeah, I'm definitely excited for the challenge. Uh, just playing uh, Clemson, you know, the number one team in the country, and with challenge comes opportunity. So I'm excited for the opportunity we have to play the number one team in the country this, this weekend. What do you remember about um, being recruited by Clemson? And I also understand maybe you met Dabo when you were eighth grade. Yeah, I, I did meet Dabo at a FCA banquet when I was in eighth grade. But no, no, he runs a really good program there. Uh, you know, I had a lot of interest in Clemson. I'm glad I ended up where I ended up, and um, he, he runs a really good program there at Clemson. So you were recruited by a lot of programs like Clemson that are kind of established, but you chose to come here. Why is it that you chose to come to a place that was kind of rebuilding their program rather than going there? Oh, uh, you know, there's a lot that ended up going into the final decision. But I mean, I just I just believed in Coach Brown's message. I believed in the players that were here. I just wanted to come here and help change the culture of Carolina football. When you're looking at film preparing for a game, I'm sure you're kind of doing it like, you know, Okay, this play happened, this play. But let's say when you watched the Alabama game, when you weren't scouting for that game that week, what was your reaction with the way they played against Alabama, just kind of watching as a football fan? Yeah, I mean, obviously my first reaction is they're really good. They have some really good players. Uh, you know, and the bigger the moment, the better they play. Uh, you know, they have, they have a really good team, so we got to be prepared for it. Did anything change in terms of how the offensive line is preparing for Clemson in terms of it's a really young offensive line now that the can't go? More protection, dropping in more running backs, tight ends, anything changing how protection is set up? Um, you know, honestly, we're s still sticking to what we do. Uh, you know, obviously, we're making sure those guys know exactly what they're doing. Um, but really, we're not really changing anything. Uh, we trust those guys up front, and we're just going to stick with what we do. I know they're great defensively, but is there anything in one, one or two things that they do better than anybody? Uh, I mean, they just they have really good players all around the field. I think I heard Coach Longer say that usually we try to find some guys to target, but I mean, they're all really good players on our defense. What's the first thing that you think about going into this game with your preparation as far as not making that mistake or these mistakes or whatever to put you guys in a hole you know, against the number one team? What are some of the things you're thinking about going into this game? Yeah, definitely just being smart with the football and protecting the football. Uh, you got turnovers to put you in a hole, and against a really good team like Clemson, you don't want to be in a hole. So just be playing smart football and protecting football. When you came in here the other night after the game, you kind of blamed yourself for several things. What was the reaction from your teammates regarding how you played? Or yeah, that's one thing we don't do as a team. We don't point fingers. Uh, you know, as a team, we win. We win as a team. We lose as a team. So we're all just trying to get better and move on. Did anyone try to pick you up? Or were you yeah, down? definitely. Definitely, even when mistakes are made as such. And they see me down, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of guys that try to pick me up. Anybody in particular say something that was kind of I'll just uplifting? say, usually, usually whenever I get down on myself, it's always 
first one's always Michael Carter. Just come and pick me up, make sure I'm worried about the next play. You mentioned like you know embracing the challenge and the opportunity. Is there a sense of the freedom of playing loose and not having anything to lose, knowing the challenge that exists ahead of you with Clemson? Yeah, I mean I try to play every game loose. Uh, you know I just try to go out there and play my game no matter who we're playing. But yeah, I mean it's definitely I'm definitely excited for the opportunity. Uh, you know I'm just gonna go out there and have fun. And I mean these are games you you like wish for playing. Like, this is what you want to play in. Uh, so I'm just gonna go out there, have fun, get my best shot. Is there anything in the back of your mind with Chase now being hurt or questionable for the game that makes you a little concerned of whenever you, know, you go throw a pass or step back? I mean, no, not really. I just, I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm still gonna play how I play. Uh, you know, I, even if Chase is still healthy, I mean, I still need to do a better job of protecting myself. Uh, so just, I'm still just gonna go out there and play how I play. I'm not worry about what happens if I get hurt. A point of emphasis after the first game was you learning to get down more. Coach Longo talked about it. Mac talked about it. How much do you think you progressed in the area of getting down when you need to get down and not taking the extra blows? Uh, I mean, I think it varies. You know, sometimes I take the extra hit, sometimes I get down. So I just need to be more consistent with it. Is that is it still fighting against your instinct because of what you did for years and years before? Is that part of it? Yeah, I think something that will definitely get better with time, just doing it more. Just because my natural instinct is not to get down. Just because I did that for four years in high school. So I feel like it'll definitely just come smoother with time. And then, Deami Brown have a pretty strong chemistry. What can you say about our relationship? With yeah, me and Deami put a lot of time in over the summer, like some one on one work, just working on our timing. He's a really good player. Um, he, he runs every route well. So I'm, I'm blessed to have him out here. You guys are good? Yeah, one last question, please. Um, are you guys thinking about ball control at all as far as, you know, trying to pull off this upset? Is, is, it, is that one of the key factors? And if so, what's going to be the main ingredient on offense for you guys to do that against Clemson? Yeah, I mean, we just got to play smart football. Every single play, we can't make any mistakes. Uh, you know, like I said, if you make a mistake against a really good team like Clemson, they're definitely going to take advantage of it. So we don't want to put ourselves in a hole, just play smart football. All right. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam.